PlayStation Portable. What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I wanna to talk about this guy. This is a portable monitor from this company, Ozai. They actually sent me this for the purposes of this review. And to be honest with you, I get a lot of emails a lot of the time saying, hey, you wanna check out this product uh, for review? And I say, ah, oh, not really. I don't think it really, it's not that interesting for, for me or my uh, viewers. But this one, is actually something I've had my eye on for quite a bit, so I jumped at the chance to get a free one uh, for the purposes of this review. What is this guy? This is a 15 inch portable monitor. So you can see how thin it is, uh, and you can see it's basically a laptop display. Let me put it next to the white here so you can see a little bit better how thin it is. It's essentially a laptop display where they've gone ahead and put some extra controls on the side and some kind of more pedestrian inputs uh, so you can hook up HDMI, USB-C for video, and USB-C for power. So it's got three ports on the side here, this little mini HDMI, USB-C, and USB-C again. One USB-C is for video from like a MacBook or something, and one is for power. It doesn't include a wall wart, so you're going to have to bring your own. Um, but it does include like a case that you can protect it with and stuff like this. Now... Why is this thing so interesting to me and why did I jump at the chance of reviewing it? Well, it's because of the use case of something like this. I personally have, especially in the before times, a ton of different uses for this kind of thing. Uh, wh whether I'm traveling for a video capture event or a con or for you know just traveling with the family, maybe I wanna hook up a Nintendo Switch for me, for the kids. Uh, you know, we don't necessarily know what the situation is going to be when we get there. A lot of times you get to a hotel, you can't hook up anything to the TV. Maybe you're staying at a relative's house. They don't necessarily have a TV in the bedroom. Uh, this thing, you know, you just bring your own solution with you. And that's why I like it so much. This is a 1080p monitor. It's 15.6 inches and it is IPS. So it actually looks pretty good. The best way I could describe it is... Imagine like about like a, I don't know, a $500 to $800 laptop that has a 1080p IPS screen. And you, you can imagine like the kind of quality you're getting here. Uh, it's actually pretty good quality. And obviously it's much cheaper than that because it doesn't have, you know, a computer attached. Uh, this thing costs about $180. I'll put a link to, down below on Amazon. It comes with a case here. I'm going to show you how to hook that up. Uh, the case also doubles as a stand, uh, but I don't find it really sturdy enough to hold it up as a stand. But the, it is a magnetic case, so you just kind of flap it onto the back here, and that part is magnetic, uh, holds it in place. Then you just wrap it up. Case is perfect for throwing it in a backpack next to your laptop or whatever, uh, and protecting it. Um, using it as a stand, however, uh, it's just it's not quite sturdy enough. Uh, you know, if I set it up just kind of right, it'll hold it in place, but any kind of rocking and it's actually developed this kind of crease in the back here. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of fine, but you know, for a little more stability, you might want to get like some kind of iPad stand, portable iPad stand that you can use to take it with you. Uh, the screen is really nice. It's got kind of a matte finish on it. So you, you can definitely see, uh, there's, you know, the reflection here, but you can see how it's kind of diffused. So it's not like a glossy finish where you're just basically seeing exactly what the reflection is behind you. It does a better job of diffusing it. It's bright enough for indoor use for sure. I did bring it outside just to see if I could see it outside. I could definitely see it, but I wouldn't really want to use it outside. Um, there's just a ton of uses for this kind of thing. And at $180, it represents a pretty good value in my opinion. The uses for something like this are kind of endless for me. I can you know, have the monitor here and then have a video shot of, you know, like a, a joystick here. If I'm reviewing the joystick, you can see me playing on the joystick and also see the real time uh, gameplay like in the same shot, which is, you know, kind of a neat thing. It does use a mini HDMI connector. Um, I don't love that connector. It's better than the, like the super micro ones. Uh, it's kind of like in between those two sizes. It'd be awesome if they could figure out a way to actually have a full-size HDMI connector. Although, looking at the side profile of the device itself, I could see how it could be hard to fit that. Uh, so, 
you know, you may have to find a couple of these on Amazon for different devices or different lengths, depending on the usage. Uh, it's kind of nice to have like longish wires for this kind of stuff. Uh, also, it doesn't come with a USB-C charger, uh, which you'll need to power it up. You know, you'll need some kind of power brick to plug into the wall and then plug a USB cable into it. Uh, it doesn't come with that, so you'll have to provide that yourself. For me, I've got a ton of those things kind of just kicking around. Uh, also, the included cables are all relatively short. The, uh, the USB-C charging cable or power cable was fairly short. I did really like how there are easy to access controls on the side here. Uh, very easy to adjust picture quality, saturation, brightness, that kind of thing. Uh, also, there's an easy to access power button and a headphone jack, so you can plug your headphones directly into the display uh, to get sound from HDMI to headphones very easily. Um, the screen itself is kind of a matte finish. It does tend to pick up fingerprints pretty easily, uh, but it was easy to clean them off as well. But, you know, obviously something like this is going to be handling a lot, so it's going to get fingerprints. Uh, that's just a reality of the situation. I got to be honest with you. I like this thing a lot. You're going to see this in videos in the future because I'm going to be using it for videos in the future. Uh, whether I'm using it to edit video on when I eventually start traveling again, hopefully sometime in 2021, um, or if I'm just using it for product shots and, you know, I want to have a device here with the display output right in the picture. It's just a convenient thing to have. You can even use it as a teleprompter, you know, like the, endless, endless uh, uses for this thing. So I'm pretty impressed with it. And I want to thank Ozai for sending me one uh, for the purpose of this review. This is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.